30 degrees, don't mind what that looks like. Good strike. So now all we're doing with the progression is now adding in a small approach or run up to the ball. I'm going to talk a lot about 30 degrees throughout this 12 week program because I think 30 degrees when you're kicking out of hand is the most powerful position that we can come from. So we get our extension out the back, those natural angles sit really well at 30 degrees and I'll explain more now. So if I'm kicking into the net and I wanted to take a straight run up, with my ball drop, my natural leg swing wants to turn around the corner here and then when I make impact, the natural thing my leg wants to do is come across my body. So you end up with a bit of an arc shape and you're not able to hold a straight follow through. So what we're gonna do is if I'm kicking from here, usually I'm standing, all I'm gonna do is just take myself back on that 30 degree angle, come into the ball, make a strong impact and as you can see, my leg can naturally stay a little bit straighter in that follow through. So that's all the drill is. So now we just give ourselves 30 degrees from where we want to kick from. We're doing a set at ball drop one, ball drop two, and ball drop three. This here is ball drop one, nice and low to the ground. Same principles apply, kick from your hip line, ball drop one, nice low hard punch. Hit the outside of my foot a little bit there. That's why we're doing the drills. 30 degrees, ball drop one, nice low hard punch. That was a slightly better strike on the ball. Last one, ball drop one, 30 degrees, get a nice punch on it. It's probably my best one. We've done our set of 10 now, down at ball drop one, so now we go up to ball drop two. Should see a little bit more height and hang time. So this is that exit kick. I want to get my, my team downfield and get a heaps of uh, distance, a little bit of hang time, but distance is the main outcome. So let's give ourselves a little bit of room up at ball drop two. Good ball set up, right hand lower than the left. Two hands to one hand, push it out. Nice strike. Again, enjoy that follow through, get through the ball. 30 degrees, don't mind what that looks like. Good strike. Big hard foot up the back of the ball. Coming in 30 degrees. And to finish this set of three, now we're up at ball drop three. So my team's wanting me to put up a contestable, maybe we've got a good chase line. Nice high ball drop, follow through up. Instead of that follow through being so much about getting forward through the ball, think about having an up follow through. So once we make impact, my body actually goes up with the ball and with the strike where we want it to. Same thing, the big focus here is 30 degrees. Come in, ball drop three, get up. Thirty degrees, good hand placement, and all those kicks are getting up nice and high. And now we're getting into our drop kick set. So this is the last set before we get out there and get on the tee. So. This is all about drop kicks and the, the 30 degree approach still applies, it's the exact same approach that we want. Once we've dropped this ball, I want you to get on the ball nice and quick. So rather than that ball getting too high, once we've actually done our ball drop, get on it nice and quick because we're looking for that nice punch behind the ball, just like if we were taking a shot, getting the ball back, taking a snap drop goal in a game. We want to get on it quick and get that ball travelling with good punch behind it. So same rules apply, 30 degrees, I'm going to get a nice ball drop. Get on it nice and quick and get some good punch behind it. Okay, strike. Get on it nice and quick, get that punch behind it, 30 degrees. Same ball drop, one hand up the back of the ball, two hand to one hand. Snapped at that ball a little bit. Again, we want to learn off every ball that we kick, we want to learn from. So. Just got around it, wrap that ball a little bit. Nice ball drop, get on it quick. Good snap. 